Hey guys, happy new year and welcome to another After tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create this light load animation in After Wait. So let's get started. Okay, as so let's guys, let's start with a new composition and I'm gonna call this uh, light load animation and let's go with uh, 1080 by 1080 resolution and 24 frames per second and I'm gonna give a 10 second duration just for save and let's go with a black color background and i'm gonna hit ok now first up uh, i'm gonna add a background so let's go here right click new and i'm gonna create a solid and i'm gonna call this bg for background and uh, color doesn't matter uh, i'm gonna add a four color gradient so let's hit ok now uh, i'm gonna go to uh, effect and preset uh, if you don't see effect and preset go to windows and you can find this effect and preset uh, option okay now let's open this and i'm gonna uh, search for four color gradient effect let's double click make sure you select the uh, layer and now go here and double click and it will apply and for the colors i will go with all white like that and i will pick, pick this white color just like that i'm gonna change this middle uh, color to some kind of uh, gray color like that and i will also uh, change this color 3 to some kind of uh, gray color so as you can see it's like a 3d backdrop now let's add a shape so to add a shape let's go to toolbar and uh, select this ellipse tool make sure you disable the stroke we don't need that okay and for the fill i'm gonna go with a uh, white color okay perfect now to apply uh, you can just double click and it will create this uh, perfect ellipse and let's call this ellipse okay perfect now i'm gonna add a uh, layer style so right click go here layer style and you can find this inner shadow so let's click this inner shadow option and this will add a layer style and let's go to content and ellipse one i will open this ellipse part one and let's reduce this size a bit i think it's too much so let's take it around 630 okay you guys just play with the uh, scale and yeah i think this should work and let's go with this layer style option and i will open this inner shadow and let's increase this uh, distance value some kind of like this i need this shadow to in this below part so i'm gonna use this angle option so it will rotate like that and let's also add uh, some kind of uh, softness we can add this uh, by adding this uh, size value so if you increase this as you can see it like a soft shadow and yeah this will add that uh, 3d effect kind of cool we can also reduce the opacity something like that yeah this should work you guys can just play with these values and i think i satisfied this one so let's close this up and i'm gonna add a new solid so right click new solid and let's call this saber effect i'm using video copilot saber plugin you guys can download it uh, for free link in the description okay let's select this and i'm gonna go to effect and preset and search for uh, video copilot saber just search for saber it will pop up like this and you can just drag and drop or you can select the layers and just double click it will apply and i will uh, set the mood to screen so we have the transparent effect now to add this uh, effect we need to add a mask so i'm gonna select this just in case i'm gonna uh, hide this for now okay and let's select this layer and i'm gonna go to toolbar and select the ellipse tool hold shift on your keyboard so it will keep this proportion of the uh, mask like that and i'm gonna select this selection tool and let's double click on this mask so we have this transform option and i will just put this mask around here and let's also hold shift and just scale it down a little bit okay i think this should work and we have this perfect mask now i'm gonna enable this layer again like that 
okay now let's select this go to effect control if you don't see effect control you can go windows effect control and i'm gonna go to customize scope and let's set the core type as the layer mask so it will give this mask you guys can just play with the uh, glow color okay i think uh, blue or white will work now i will show how to animate this i will show you how to uh, change the color a little bit later so i'm gonna uh, go uh, customize co option and i'm gonna uh, reduce this start size value as you can see we don't need this uh, mask stroke so i'm gonna go here toggle mass and shape path visibility and i'm gonna click this speed disable so that the stroke will not disturb us so i'm gonna uh, reduce this uh, start size to zero okay and then i'm gonna increase this coarse softness a little bit so it will give that blur effect around the saber and something like that i will also go to this uh, glow intensity and increase it so we have this intensive glow like that okay perfect to animate this we can use this mass evolution option so i'm gonna go to zero second and create a new keyframe and let's go one second forward and let's make it slow turn like that okay it should work and let's go to three second mark i will speed up this rotation like that let's give another rotation to loop this we can go press frame again and take a snapshot now let's go to in keyframe and i'm gonna uh, check this using this uh, show snapshot so let's rotate it to that press frame like that we can just keep checking it i think it's need to go a little bit backwards let's check it again no too much i think this should work and i'm gonna press n2 in the comp here let's check this out yes i think uh, loop is working as you can see our press frame let me create another snapshot let's go to three second mark and let's see it's still not the perfect so i'm gonna add a little bit rotation yeah this should work and as you can see now you should have this looping saber now let's add some easy so i'm gonna select this saber and press u to reveal all the keyframe and let's select this and press f9 to easy and i'm gonna go to a uh, graph editor and here as you can see right click i'm using this value graph if you have enabled this uh, speed graph make sure you are using value graph and select this middle keyframe and i will select this uh, auto bc option this will give this smooth motion as you can see now we can just drag this curve like that to give some motion and select this in keyframe and i will drag it a little bit like that now let's press space bar as you can see now we have this organic uh, smooth motion let's go to our timeline again and i'm gonna pick with this to this ellipse so we can animate the ellipse scale a little bit to uh, parent this we can use this parent and link and i'm gonna pick with this to this ellipse and let's select the ellipse let's go to zero second and i'm gonna press s to bring the scale properties and let's create a new keyframe and i'm gonna go to uh, one second and 12 frame forward and let's give little bit scale value i think 103 is good let's go to three second mark and i'm gonna copy this press keyframe select this ctrl c ctrl v to paste it and i'm gonna select these three keyframe and press f9 to easy okay now let's go to graph editor and give a little bit a curve like this i'm using value graph okay now let's go back to the timeline again yes now this looks pretty cool and really good and we can also animate the uh, color if you select this saber create a keyframe for the glow color so i'm gonna select this stopwatch icon and let's select the saber layer and press u to reveal the keyframe and i will go a little bit forward and change the color to something different and let's change one more time you guys can play with the uh, colors okay i just want to show you and let's keep like that i'm gonna go to zero second and let's press space bar to check it out and looks pretty cool 
and that's how you create this light load animation i hope you guys enjoy this one and thank you so much for the patron supporters as well i'll be see you guys in the next one have a great day